Welcome to day one of Journey to Yoga. I'll recommend for each practice that you have a block somewhere near your mat. Today we'll begin in child's pose. As you come onto your mat, bring your big toes together. Draw your knees apart as wide as feels appropriate for today and extend your arms out ahead. As you arrive, begin to deepen your breath. And we begin today with our first core value, intention. A core value is a guiding principle that helps to shape our behavior and our actions. When we practice with intention, we practice on purpose and with purpose. When we live with intention, everything we're thinking, saying, and doing is aligned with our highest purpose and greatest values. So today, as you arrive in this first moment of our 10-day journey together, beginning to inquire, what is the intention that you set? You might hear this intention as a word or a phrase. You might feel this intention somehow in your body. You might even see this intention coming to live visually in your mind. An intention is not something that you have to search for. It's always present and it comes from both your heart and your mind. As you begin this journey asking yourself, what is the intention that you set? And internally and silently beginning to repeat that intention to yourself. As the hips continue to descend back toward the heels, start to evolve the sound of what we call ujjayi breathing, creating a subtle contraction at the back of the throat, creating a breath that you can hear, allowing this breath to be nourishing and as if this breath could nourish the intention that you set. And so from this place, trusting that both your breath and your intention are here to support you, together we'll take a deep inhale through the nose and open the mouth. And on an inhale, extending the arms forward toward the top of the mat. Pause on the out breath and inhale, rise to all fours. Have your wrists right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips so you make long lines of energy. From here, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, start to reach your right arm towards your heels as you reach your hips back again. Then on an inhale, lift your hips and circle your right arm forward all the way to the sky. Exhale back down and around as we lubricate the shoulder joint two more times. Inhale to the sky. Exhale back down and around. One more time. Inhale, circle to the ceiling. Exhale, hips back, arm back. At the top, pause. Take an inhale, lean back, open up. As you exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left, allowing your right temple to rest. And then allowing your left hand to be there in front of your face to support you. Allowing your right shoulder to rest. And maybe even allowing the eyes to close. And then as you listen to the sound your breath makes, still that intention there present and supporting you as we begin to deepen into this first class today. Press down into your left hand and on an inhale, reach your right arm all the way back up toward the sky, lean back, open up, and then back to tabletop pose as you exhale. Pause here with the hands underneath the shoulders and on an inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the chest and spread the collarbones wide. 
Exhale, drop your head, round your spine, dome your back. Beautiful breath. Two more times. Inhale, belly melts, collarbones widen as the heart lifts. Exhale, drop the head and press the shoulder blades wide, doming the back. Last time, inhale, navel melts, heart pulls through the gateway of the chest. Exhale, as you lift the sides of the waist, see how round you can get. Back to a flat back on an inhale, and then pause there on the out breath. Start to reach your left arm back towards your heels as you press your hips back. Inhale, circle the left arm toward the sky, big arm circles here. Exhale, hips back, arm back, extend and sweep. Inhale, press and rise, circle the arm ahead. Last time, hips back, arm back. Inhale, circle the arm all the way up, down and around, back. Pause at the top, take an inhale, lean back, open up, widen the chest. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right as you invite the left temple to rest. And taking a moment here, just to pause, knowing that things will pick up over time. But today, it's about establishing yourself into this intention. Trusting that you come to your mat with everything you need to fulfill this intention for these next 10 days. Press down into your right hand and on an inhale, sweep your left arm all the way back up toward the sky. And exhale back to tabletop pose, wrists underneath the shoulders. Step the feet back, top of a push-up plank pose. And always remembering that if you're modifying today, this is your unique journey. So if you need to put your knees down behind your hips, you're invited to do so at any point in time. Gaze is slightly ahead. Take a big inhale, top of a push-up plank. As you exhale, shift forward, bend the elbows, and slowly lower the whole body down onto the mat. Release the tops of the feet flat, and with the wrists underneath the elbows, inhale to a low cobra. Draw your heart forward, spread your chest wide. Exhale, heart, chest, and chin lower slow to the floor two more times. Inhale, baby cobra, as if you could hug the elbows in. Exhale, rest and lower everything to the mat as we warm the spine. Last time, inhale, heart widens and drop the chin a little bit. Exhale, heart, chest, and chin to the floor as you tuck your toes under and shift your way back to your first downward facing dog of this journey. Allow the ears to align with the arms. And then with strong straight arms, drive the tops of the thighs back but always remembering that your legs do not have to be straight. That a subtle bend in the knees helps us to arc the sitting bones up toward the sky so we keep the spine long. And then as you continue to deepen the breath here, give yourself a moment, whether the eyes open or close, and just to realign internally with being here, connected on your mat, in this breath, in this body and in this intention that'll carry you through your practice. Take an inhale here, press the heart, the chest back. As you exhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, lightly step your feet up to meet your hands. Glance out halfway on an inhale, draw the spine long. Exhale, fold and bow, hang the head. Press through the feet and on an inhale, circle your arms up toward the sky. And as you exhale, draw your hands down to your heart. Place the backs of the thumbs to the front of the heart. Bow the chin slightly. And if it's appropriate and right, close the eyes. And from this place, standing down into your two feet, calling to mind again this intention that will carry you through these next 10 days. Knowing that your intention is like a touchstone. It's something you can come back to at any point in time. Like the breath, we have to turn the awareness again and again to these intentions that we set. And so from here, standing tall, on an inhale, circle your arms to the sky, full deep breath in. Exhale, fold and dive out over strong legs. Flat back on an inhale, let your heart, your chest lead. Plant your hands to the mat as you exhale, step back to plank pose, and on the same out breath, chaturanga, lower slow. Cobra or up dog, inhale, draw the heart through. Down dog as you exhale, roll back over the toes. 
And as you pause in down dog, go ahead and inhale, lift to all 10 toes and elevate the heels high. Keep the sitting bones lifting toward the sky. And as you exhale, bend your right knee, press your left heel down, awaken the back of the leg. Still strong and straight through the arms. Inhale, rise back to all 10 toes. Exhale, bend the left knee, descend the right heel down as you awaken the back of the right leg. Inhale, rise back to all 10 toes. Exhale, descend the heels low. We start to flow. Inhale, press the heart, the chest back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees, step or float top of the mat. Inhale, long spine, long back. Exhale, bow and hang your head. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Press through your feet to stand. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Reaffirm your intention within. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Breath sounds great. Dive and fold. Exhale, get empty again. Inhale, draw your heart, your chest ahead. Exhale, plant your hands. Either step or float to Chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, down dog, shift your way back. And then this moment in downward facing dog, this opportunity to realign, to align not just in the body, but to align internally with this guiding force of intentionality. Inhale, press the tops of the thighs back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine, your back. Exhale, fold and get empty. Inhale, circle the arms up and ride the breath to the sky. Exhale, hands back at your heart, intention inside. Inhale, sweep your arms up, full body breath. Exhale, fold and press the breath out. Inhale, fill your lungs, let your heart lead. Exhale, plant your hands down, step or float lower on the same out breath. Up dog or cobra, inhale, draw your heart through. Down dog, exhale, shift your way back and we'll move on. Take a full deep inhale through your nose, stick your tongue out. Two more of those, full deep breath in, tongue out. One more time, full inhale, tongue out, let it go, nice. Take a full inhale, press the hips up and back. Gaze forward as you exhale, bend the knees, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, draw your heart, your chest ahead. Exhale, fold and hang your head. Bend your knees, drop your hips to the first chair pose of these next 10 days. Circle your arms to the sky and then see if you can lift your navel off of your thighs. And so at times we will pick the heat up. And then in those moments when you feel your mind wandering or you feel any part of you wavering, that intention is there for you to come back to. Take a full inhale, chair pose here. Dive and fold, exhale, feel the space you made. Inhale, draw your heart, your chest ahead. Exhale, plant your hands, either step or float, lower on the same out breath. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog as you shift your way back. Inhale, float the right leg up and off the earth and we work with a square hip. Exhale, step the right foot through, turn the back foot flat. Warrior one, on an inhale, circle your arms above. As the right toes aim ahead, the right knee aims ahead and the ceiling of the outer edge of the left foot gives you this opportunity to draw the left hip forward and the right waist back. Strong through your legs, you know where you stand. Take an inhale, reach up, maybe gaze up. Today, hands behind the back as you exhale, interlace the fingers. Draw the knuckles down, lift the heart up. Exhale, fold and bow, either your chest parallel to your thigh or your right shoulder on the inside. Both are right, but see if you can hug your right hip in and wrap your left hip and your left waist down. As you ground down through your feet, notice that your toes stay long and soft. Let the inhale carry you back up. Warrior one, circle the arms to the sky, maybe gaze up. Exhale, plant the hands down, step right back to upper push up and on the same out breath, lower down. Inhale as you lift your heart high, your shoulders low. Exhale, down dog, shift your way back. Inhale, left leg floats with a nice square hip. Exhale, step the left foot through, seal the back foot flat. 
Inhale, warrior one. Let the in-breath draw you up toward the sky. And there it is, just this sense of what in yoga we call udana vayu, the rising flow of energy. Your fingertips reaching up as if the intention were rising inside of you. Take a full breath, reach up, maybe gaze up. Hands behind the back, maybe one finger over. Draw the knuckles down, lift the heart high. Exhale, bow and fold on the inside or chest parallel to the thigh. And so how appropriate that this particular pose is called the humble warrior. What a beautiful quality to bring into this journey as we start to step into this intention that we are humbled by the blessings of this body and this breath and the opportunity to connect with each other through these next 10 days of practice. Strong through the legs, inhale, rise, warrior one, full breath, sweep the arms above, exhale, plant the hands down, step back to the top of a push-up and on the same out breath, lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog, always your choice. Exhale, down dog as you shift your way back. Body beginning to warm and breath continuing to deepen. And I just get to remind you that at any point in time, child's pose is available. These guys have been practicing for a long time. So just know if you're at home, this journey is yours. Make it your own. On an inhale, press the tops of the thighs back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees, step or float, feet to hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold and bow. Bend the knees, circle the arms. One breath, chair pose. Exhale, dive over straight legs, we flow. Inhale, glance out halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step or shoot the toes back. Chaturanga on your out breath. Inhale, wide collarbones. Exhale, down dog, shift back. Inhale, right leg floats up and off the mat. Exhale, right foot steps through, back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one, sweep and rise. Exhale, hands behind interlace. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, bow and fold down. Inhale, first warrior, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands down, step back to plank, the same out breath you descend. Inhale, pull your heart through. Exhale, down dog, press your way back. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left foot steps through light. Inhale, first warrior, your arms lift. Hands behind on your out breath, interlace. Inhale, offer your heart high. Exhale, humble yourself, bow low. Inhale, back to warrior one with strong legs you rise. Exhale, plant your hands down, step to plank, and let it all go. Inhale, up dog or cobra, heart elevates. Exhale, down dog, and a little internal celebration. You know, look what you've already done. That oftentimes the hardest part of a practice is just showing up. So acknowledging yourself for continuing to stand in this intention. Inhale, press the hips up and back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees, step or float, feet to hands. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, dive and forward fold. Inhale, draw your heart, your chest ahead. Exhale, through the vinyasa, step or float and descend. Inhale, as you lift your lungs. Exhale, down dog, as you empty out. Inhale, right leg sweeps up and off the mat. Exhale, right foot steps through, back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one, sweep and rise. Hands behind as you exhale, interlace. Inhale, heart high. Exhale, bow your way down low. Inhale, back to warrior one. Exhale, plant your hands down, step to plank, and on the same out breath, lower down. Inhale as you lift your chest. Exhale, down dog as you press back. Inhale, left leg floats up. Exhale, left foot steps through light. Inhale, circle the arms up, ride the breath. Hands behind as you exhale, gather in. Inhale, chest high. Exhale, left shoulder may be on the inside. Inhale, sweep the arms up, ground through the heels. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step back and lower. We'll always meet in down dog. Inhale, shoulders low. Exhale, press your way back. As you find your way to down dog, pause for a moment and spread wide through all 10 fingers, planting the inner hand down into the mat. And then one steady place for your gaze. Take an inhale, lift your right leg up and off the earth. 
As you exhale, step your right foot through, turn your back foot flat, circle the arms up to warrior one. And as you find your way into warrior one, it's a little different experience. The body a little warmer, maybe the heart rate a little high. And then just notice if your face got super serious, maybe you could soften the corners of your eyes. Take a full deep breath in, first warrior, open to warrior two as you exhale. Right arm forward, left arm back, and we change the feet a little bit here. So the front foot maybe comes a little closer toward the center of the mat with the right knee above the right heel. The front heel intersects the arch of the back foot. And from this place as the palms face the earth and your arms outstretch, turning your gaze forward over that right hand like a warrior on the battlefield connected to that intention that you set. Flip your right palm to the sky. Reverse your warrior on an inhale. Sweep your right arm up and overhead. And it's a side stretch, not a back bend. So as you lift the right hip off the right thigh, as if your right waist could aim toward the sky. Take one more inhale, reach back. Exhale back to warrior two, your shoulders above your hips. On an inhale, straighten your front right leg and heel toe your back foot in just a tiny bit so you stabilize your stance. Reach your right arm forward on an inhale. Keep drawing the top of your right thigh back. Triangle pose as you exhale. Right hand to right shin or a block outside of the foot. And we put the block on the outside edge of the foot because as you can see, it helps us just to roll the heart, the chest open. We remain spacious so that breath and intention can flow freely. From here, keep what you have today and just turn your left palm to face behind you. Drop your left hand behind your back as you roll your left shoulder away from your left ear. And then as you find your way in, just notice that breath is still present. That the breath is this pathway that links our body to our spirit. So no matter where we go, we're drawing that breath in deeply. It's got a sense of trust to it. Take one more big deep breath in. And as you exhale, just turn your gaze down toward the floor. See if the left hand can stay there. Start to bend the right knee, shift the weight forward, right hand or block under your shoulder, step up, take flight, a half bound version of Ardha Chandrasana. The left hip stacks on top of the right as the left shoulder wraps down the back. And as you pause here, growing long through the top of your head, all the way through that back left heel, you're just a long expression of energy and breath. When you're ready, on an inhale, send your left arm straight up toward the sky, full half moon pose. Take a goodbye breath in. Exhale, bend your right knee, step back, warrior two, you land light. Reverse your warrior inhale, right arm up and overhead. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Step back to the top of a push up and pause in plank pose. Take an inhale in plank and lower your right knee down underneath your right hip as you exhale and turn the sole of your left foot flat. Notice that your right knee is right underneath your right hip and your right hand is right underneath your right shoulder so the joints stack. Circle your left arm up toward the sky and find a modified version of side plank pose. And during this journey, we're gonna build over time. So this is just a beautiful place for you to anchor in and check in. Seal the outer edge of the left foot flat and then lean back, open up, take an in breath. Extend your left arm out and over your left ear as you exhale. And the pinky finger turns down slightly, the thumb toward the sky. So there's this beautiful external rotation of the arm. Inhale, reach the left arm straight up. Take a full deep breath in. Exhale, left hand down to the mat. Step back to the top of a push-up plank. Take a goodbye inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga, hover with strength. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Fill the lungs with breath. Exhale, down dog as you shift your way back. Pause and down dog. Take a deep inhale. Press your heart, your chest back. Gaze forward as you exhale. Bend your knees. Step or float, top of the mat. Inhale again to that flat back. Exhale, fold. Let the rounding come back in. 
Separate your feet the distance of your hips. Turn your toes out, your heels in. And for many of us, we might actually need the feet as wide as the mat. Bend the knees, drop the hips into malasana, what we call the yogi style squat. Palms come together right at the center of the heart. And you could always put a block underneath you for support. From here, you might gaze gently down and out a few feet, or you might even close your eyes and you feel right at the center of your two hands, that little pocket, that little piece of space. And as if your intention were just planted there, calling it back to mind again today. Take a full inhale here. Exhale, place your hands down, lift your hips and turn all 10 toes straight ahead. Bring your feet in the distance of your hips. Glance out halfway, inhale, draw the heart, the chest ahead. Exhale, fold and bow, hang the head. Circle the arms to the sky. Inhale, press through your feet as you rise to stand. Exhale, draw your hands back to Anjali, back to the heart again. Heel toe the big toes to touch and have a little space between your heels. Begin to shift the weight into the left foot and bring the sole of the right foot into tree pose. For some of us, that might be toes on the floor. That would be fine. Maybe the foot is on the calf. Maybe it comes to the inner thigh. And then wherever you find yourself, just pausing with your hands at your heart. And here you are at the start of a journey as if you were a tree, this intention growing in both directions, the intention being the roots that ground you down, and also the extension of your leaves, your branches, this possibility of deepening connection that you're starting to step into. Take one last big breath here. Right foot meets the left as you exhale, plant the foot on the mat, and then watch sensation change. You know how to be with this. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Full deep breath in. Exhale, fold and dive. Get empty again. Inhale, glance out halfway. Long spine, long back. Plant the hands as you exhale and step back to the top of a push-up plank. Slip the inner edges of your feet to connect at the back of your mat and spin to the blade of your right foot this time, circling your left arm toward the sky, coming into full side plank. But remember, we did it with the knee down to begin with, so you could always come back to that variation. Inhale here. Left arm up and over your head as you exhale. Those are beautiful. Left hip stacks on top of right. Inhale, left arm straight up to the sky. Exhale, left hand down to the mat. Take a goodbye breath and plank. Chaturanga, exhale, hover with strength. Up dog, cobra, inhale, heart spreads. Exhale, down dog, press back. Inhale, float your left leg up and off the mat. Exhale, step your left foot through, turn your back foot flat. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky, first warrior. And as you find this first warrior, maybe this time you even close the eyes. And as you feel it from the inside out, are you the embodiment of your intention in this moment? Notice what you're practicing. Could you practice health? Could you practice joy? Could you practice healing? Take a full inhale, reach up, maybe gaze up. Open up warrior two as you exhale. Left arm forward, right arm back. And the sign of a warrior is just this incredible ability that you have to be both strong and easeful, that you have a wise use of your energy as you sit down into this left thigh and as you gaze over your left hand. With a soft face and your intention there, flip your left palm to the sky and reverse your warrior on an inhale. As you elevate the left hip off the left thigh and reach the left hand back, just let it be sweet, no over efforting. One more deep breath in, exhale back to warrior two, shoulders above the hips. Inhale, straighten your front left leg, heel toe your back foot in. Right toes aim slightly ahead and on an inhale, see how long you can get. Reach the left arm forward and at the last moment, left hand to left shin or left hand to a block outside of the mat. With the spine parallel to the earth, the breath resonating in your heart. This opportunity here just to take a full deep breath in as you extend. Keep what you have and just turn your right hand to face behind you and drop your right hand behind your back. 
Roll your right shoulder away from your right ear as if you could just surrender all of the things that tend to resonate here. And keeping what you have, breath flowing smooth. Gaze down, take a goodbye breath. Start to bend your left knee as you exhale. Step forward, take flight. Ardha Chandrasana, right leg elevates parallel to the mat. With the right arm still behind the back, see if you can drive that right leg back. Imagine that there were a wall there as your chest expands. Then with a strong left leg, inhale your right arm straight up toward the sky, full half moon. Take a goodbye breath. Start to bend the left knee as you exhale. Step back, second warrior, land light. Reverse your warrior, inhale, sweep your left arm up and back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Step back to the top of a push-up and pause. Heart still forward, take a deep breath in. And exhale, lower your left knee down beneath your left hip. Turn the sole of the right foot flat, anchor it to the mat. Inhale your right arm toward the sky. And the outer edge of your right foot just sealing down, giving you a place to land. Lean back, open up, full breath in. Right arm up and over your head as you exhale. And whether the gaze is under the arm or down toward the earth, you find one place where breath can lead you. Inhale, right arm straight back up to the sky. Exhale, right hand down onto the mat. Step back to plank pose. Take a goodbye breath in plank. Exhale to a low push-up, elbows in. Inhale, up dog or cobra, wrap your chest wide. Exhale, down dog, shift your way back. Take a goodbye inhale, stretch your chest back. Gaze forward as you exhale, bend your knees, step or float, feet to hands. Inhale, draw your heart out. Exhale, bow and fold in. Separate the feet wide, turn the heels in, the toes out, and draw your hips down low back to Malasana as the palms connect. Feel the crown of the head rising. Feel the inner thighs hugging in. And just this beautiful presence of your two palms connected. This is what it feels like to embody connection. Take a full inhale. Plant your hands as you exhale. Lift your hips and turn all 10 toes ahead. On an inhale, lengthen the spine. Take the rounding out of the back. Exhale, fold and bow in. Circle the arms up. Inhale as you rise all the way to stand. Exhale, draw your hands back to your heart. Heel toe your big toes to touch a little space between your heels and slip your left foot into tree pose, whether it comes to the inner thigh or the toes rest on the mat. Your hands connected at your heart and this beautiful moment, this gesture of your intention that you come fully equipped with purpose, with power to fulfill anything you set your mind on. Take a goodbye breath here. Lower your left foot as you exhale. Pause, feel the sensation shift and change. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky, your last vinyasa today. Exhale, fold and dive, press the breath out. Inhale, draw the heart, the chest ahead. And exhale, plant the hands down, step back to plank pose and slip the inner edges of the feet to connect. Spin to the blade of the left foot, circle the right arm to the sky. But if you're at home at any point in time, you can modify. Take a full breath at the top. Reach that right arm up and over your head like a long line of energy from heel to hand. Inhale, right arm back up to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Take a goodbye breath. Last plank pose of the day. Exhale, chaturanga hover. You made it. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Press your way back. Amazing. Hmm. Take one final deep breath in. Exhale, lower the knees down onto the mat. Crawl the knees forward, cross the ankles behind you, and roll all the way down onto the back. Hug your knees into your chest. Maybe rock a little side to side. And lower the soles of your feet down onto the mat. Bring the soles of your feet together. Open your knees out wide. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly as you close your eyes. 
and we'll work with a little bit of yogic breathing, what we call pranayama, just to settle ourselves. Take a full inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale. Through the nose, inhale for one, two, three, four. Pause for one, two. Out the nose, exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause for two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Pause, one, two. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Pause, one, two. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, two, one. Take a full deep breath in. Out the mouth, let it go. And as you come back to a natural breath, maybe the eyes stay closed here. Slip the hands outside of the knees, spin the soles of the feet flat. Cross the right ankle over the left knee. Flex the right foot and wrap the right thigh forward. If there's already a stretch here, you can stay. Otherwise, draw the left thigh into the chest, finding what we call thread the needle or reclining pigeon. Let the head drop back as you invite the body to cool and the breath to equalize. Take a good by breath in. Exhale, lower the sole of the left foot down. Keep the right ankle where it is and just cactus the elbows, the height of the chest. Drop both knees over to the right as you use the right foot to guide the left knee down to the mat. If there's any sensitivity in the left knee, just slip the right foot onto the floor instead. An easy twist. Belly open, body grounded intention present. On an inhale, spin the sole of the left foot flat. Uncross the right ankle, place the right foot flat. Left ankle over the right knee, flex the left foot. And either stay here or draw the right thigh into the chest. As the head drops back, let the eyes close. There was once a diamond thief who wanted the most beautiful diamond in his city. A man went in one day and bought this precious jewel and the thief was determined to steal it away. He followed the man as he left the jewelry district. And then the man got onto a train and so the thief began to follow him. But no matter what the thief tried, he couldn't steal this diamond away. The man stayed on the train for many days and still the thief followed. When the man finally left the train, the thief was so frustrated, he walked right up to the man and said, I've been following you for days, unable to steal your diamond away. Where did you hide it? And the man smiled and he said, I saw you following me that first day. So I hid it where I knew you would never find it, in your very own pocket. And this story is a reminder that the things we search for, like our intentions, are often closer than we could ever imagine, maybe even as close as our own breath. Take a goodbye inhale here. Exhale, place the sole of the right foot flat, cactus the elbows, and drop both knees over to the left. On an inhale, come back through the center. Uncross the ankle and reach down and hug and squeeze your knees into your chest. 
as you hug your knees in, start to rock a little bit forward and back until you rock all the way up to sit. As you rise to sit, find a comfortable cross of your legs sitting on your block if you need, and turn the palms up toward the sky today as a gesture of receiving. Allow all the activity of the breath in the body to subside and close the eyes or gaze down and out. And beginning to call that intention to mind that you set and internally and silently repeating it to yourself. An example might be, I am healthy, vibrant, and living my life's purpose. Or I am present and deeply connected And for these next few moments, gently repeating this intention to yourself. And when you become distracted, turn your attention back to your intention and repeat it again. I am the intention that you set. that this intention is here to support you. Take a full deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale. And the eyes stay closed. Recline onto your back. Shavasana, our full and final rest. Let the legs widen and the arms come down by the sides. surrendering the body and surrendering into this intention, having what we call shraddha in yoga, faith that it's there. and inhale, begin to deepen your breath. As your breath deepens, bring a gentle movement, widen your fingers, stretch through your toes. Rebend your knees, draw your knees into your chest, and slowly rock your way back up to a final easy seat. Join the palms together again at the space of the heart, this place where we began. As the thumbs rest to the front of the chest, a bowing of the chin. As we enter into these 10 days together, this deep trust that your intention is there to support you and knowing that you can come back to it, not just during your practice, but any time in the day. Knowing that what happens on your mat stays in your life 
Bring your intention with you today. Inhaling your thumbs to your forehead for clarity of thought. Your fingertips to your lips for thoughtfulness of speech. And your hands to your heart for consistency of action. Allowing your intention to guide you through everything you're thinking, saying, and doing. As we draw our practice to a close, step right off of your mat and into your workbook. Get clear on your intention. You'll carry it with you each and every day. Together, take a deep inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, exhale. Namaste. Namaste.